which team, men's or women's, is under the most pressure to get the win? This is a weird one. Uh, I'm going to say Purdue because it's about, on the men's side, it's about time Purdue do something in the NCAA tournament. You heard Joe earlier say about Matt Painter can't get out of the second round. They are a one seed. Last year they lost to Fairleigh Dickinson, mm -hmm. a 16 seed. Now, to win it all, okay. I mean, they need to get – I would change the question a little bit with them. They need to get to a Final Four. There is no excuses for Purdue. They're in an easy bracket. Tennessee's there with them, but Tennessee has a lot of skeletons in their closet as well. Mm -hmm. I think – now, I know that the obvious one would be, you know, maybe a – you, you don't. This is this is not an. Op, this is sort of a weird one because if they get to the final four, they've had a great year. But I think the Boilermakers need to win four games. So I'll say that. Believe it or not, I'm going to say something that nobody would expect me to say. I'm going to say it's the Iowa women's basketball. Team I like that too. With Caitlin Clark. Here's the reason why. I love this girl. She is something special. She is something to behold. But she's no champion yet. She lost in the national championship game to LSU last year. They were 31 and 7. This year they're 29 and 1. You see South Carolina doing what it's doing. You see LSU saying, We ain't going away. We'll be around. We'll see you again. And she'll face them in the NCAA tournament in all likelihood. I just think with all the hype and everything associated with her and all the great players, her name has been mentioned in the same breath as. It could be the multitude of women, the Diana Taurasi's, the Maya Moores, and everybody else. So you, you could take the Candace Parkers, the, the Swoops, and Cynthia Coopers, every, throughout history. WNBA, coll collegiately, Cheryl Miller, the whole bit. All champions. That's interesting. That's a I good like answer. We don't have Very time good. this week for you to rip apart his most exciting college basketball players of all time. Maybe we'll do it next week, but I want to finally It's a pretty easy, hear, one, to, it's an easy no, one to rip. I want to hear please, your final four. Please. Because you've been talking that talk uh, all show. Okay. So let's go, big I'm going to take a three seed in Illinois. Connecticut due to lose a game. I'm going to take Tennessee. I said last week they're due to win something. So I'm going to take Dalton Connect. I'm taking Kentucky and Calipari. And then I'll take North Carolina. So You'll listen. Your list is not much different than mine. You've got two three seeds, a number two seed, and a number right. one yeah, seed. I got, a I got two number ones. I got a number nine, the and I had a number two seed. What's the problem? Then because you took Texas A&M, which hey, is ridiculous. Hey, hey. That's why. Stop worrying about yourself. So who's in the championship? Tennessee and Illinois. And who's winning it? Tennessee. Tennessee and Illinois? You're that so is the worst. stuck on Tennessee. You ten should be what is drug your obsession tested. obsession with Tennessee? Drug tested. They're going to win it. Why? Like, why, why do you feel I that way? I love the two guard. Okay. Connect. And Rick Barnes is due to get hot. I mean, hot. Illinois is a well, the now. officials alone won't let that happen. <laughs> yeah. I went to Red Tennessee and hey, Illinois. Who will watch that? Curly's watching Stop you. Stop it. Coach of the year. Way I love jump him, off, too. Way but, to jump off the bandwagon, uh, buddy.